Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Graviteam video. This one's brought to you by Popular Demand, and we're talking about mines today. So, if you ever have any questions, leave them down in the comments, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, head on over to the community tab because there will be a little visual aid to help you out and understand this concept because it can be quite complicated. So one, the first thing we want to talk about is how do you spot mines? So if we open up this map right here, we can see that all our engineers are in a minefield and we can tell that by these long rectangles with circles in them. So minefields are operation dependent. Individual troops cannot place mines while engineers do have mines, like over here, if we collect, select the commander and hover over ammo, we'll see that there is a teller mine. That is for anti-tanks, anti-tank, and they will throw it at the tank. All right, next up, the manual states that you need to have a skill of 70 or above to demine. So here we have a platoon with 70, 77 to 88. We have a platoon over here, which is less experienced. And then we have this last platoon, which is not experienced at all. So we're gonna test all three and see if they're capable of demining. The next thing we're gonna do is how to demine. So you see this icon right here? This tells you that the platoon or squad you have selected is capable of demining. So if we selected the individual commander platoon, they are capable. If we selected another platoon, we have two platoons selected that are capable of demining. Now if we selected tanks, Tanks are not capable of demining. All right, next up, let's set this platoon up to demine. The first thing we need to do is turn on act with caution, which is control G or this little button right here. You click it, they are now turned, act with caution is now turned on. Same thing with this platoon, same thing with this platoon. What that does is it causes the platoons to go prone. Another thing we need to do is Let's select this platoon right here and we need to right click and then we need to hover over move and we need to right click again. So here you see this fast. This is a mo order modifier. We need to make sure that is turned off. If it's not turned off, they will not go prone. All right, now left click the move icon and now they are ordered to go prone and crawl and demine up to this point. Let's do that with the rest of our platoons. So right click over here left click and they're going to go prone and then let's check on our last platoon over here right click left click all right everyone's gonna go prone and let's start the map all right so here we have three mines detected this popped up because i have them all in the mine field so let's click on them and here we are this unit right here discovered a mine while there's no icon or anything for it, you, the only thing you get is this right here and the time. It just tells you that there's been a mine detected in this location and that it has been defused. The units do not stop. They don't take time to defuse. Once it's spotted and by the engineers while they're prone, the mines are going to be defused. So we're going to speed it up a little bit. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the map. So what you saw is what minefields look like, how to set up mines, but now we're gonna look at what it looks like when a mine is defused. So here we go. Let's see these X's right here. You see, they're hard to see right now because the units are on them. But if you look at my reticle down here on the bottom, you see black, black X's that are highlighted in white. One, two, three, four. Right there, we can't really zoom in. Now let's open this back up. We'll see an X right there. So a mine was defused right there. And we see five X's over here. One, two, three, four, five. So five mines have been defused over there. And three, four, five all over here. So while our engineers are defusing mines, we're going to send these tanks down the road and test if they're defused. All right. So what happens when a mine's diffuse is it's not going to explode anymore. I mean, that's kind of what it means. So even though it says mine detected, it just means that it's been diffused. There still may be some active mines right here that my units haven't diffused yet. 
that the tanks may still hit since they're kind of passing them up but it, but as you're watching you're watching these tanks oop they found one like this platoon's really slow this guy so even though like these guys are hitting mines it's cuz these guys haven't defused them yet that's what's going on so let's grab this tank right here see these three were able and if we send these guys over this minefield like that they're just, they're not going to hit mines. We can, like, watch them drive across the X's, right? They're dodging all the infantry. See? So the mines are diffused. Anyway, except for that guy. Um, oh, let's look at this. So that's tanks. That's diffusing. That's engineers. Um, let me know if you have any comments down below. Um, this video is straightforward. Nothing crazy. So leave a like, check the community section. Have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.